What is up everyone, Wolfman here, and today is the day where I finally show off the Grand Fleet, my LEGO Star Wars Grand Fleet. Now this is something I've been going on about for every single review that I've been doing for the past several weeks, or if not the past couple of months, and this is indeed quite the massive fleet that I have, that I have amassed over, the, over several years, if not maybe well over a decade. Now this now this whole fleet will consist of several different factions from along the Star Wars canon timeline, from Republic to Empire, First Order, Resistance, Re Rebel Alliance, and even some neutral ships like Bounty Hunters and Mandalorians, and all that jazz. And I'm even going to be throwing in my the Starfighters I have been doing for my Mock Monday reviews, all eleven of the special mocks that I have designed. And even my mock of the ghost, which was uploaded on Halloween, that sucker is also going to be in this review. It's going to be in this video. Now, bear in mind that there actually are going to be other sets that I did not do reviews on that are going to be part of the fleet. One case in point, one being the Imperial V Wing. I have six of those, and I didn't bother doing reviews because I just didn't really care enough to show off those suckers. And it, and if anyone who has seen my review on the on the Millennium Falcon, I mentioned that I actually have another one that I have redesigned a little and renamed the Raven's Halo. And that sucker is also going to be in the fleet as well, right next, right beside the Millennium Falcon. So there's definitely several Starfighters as well that I'll be doing that I haven't done reviews on. Mostly, Je there's actually a few other Jedi Starfighters and just other sets that I didn't do reviews. Now, the ones that I did do reviews, I'm going to make out, I'm going to go on my way to be putting the links of all of those, and I mean, all of them, including ones from my Imperial Armies, are going to be in the link. The links are going to be in the descriptions down below. If not, well, I'm sorry to have failed to accomplish that task because I'm still kind of rusty and a little bit new on doing that kind of stuff. Because I've actually done other links to other ch links to other videos I've done. I don't know if they actually went through or not. So with that out of the way, and without any further ado. On to the review. Sorry enough, the fleet review is my mock starfighter known as the Cross Guard. Right next to it is a second prototype. My Cross Guard, actually, my Cross Fan Guard and my Cross Wing Guard. Four different mocks that I've collected. And yes, I am starting off small and I will eventually pan out to the, to the whole fleet. My Ronin. My Lightning class, my Rush class, my Paladin, A2, Arrowhead, and Arrowhead Bomber Dropship Transports. All these guys, I have done reviews for, mock, for my Mock Mondays, all 11 of these guys, and I am quite well pleased with how these, how these guys have turned out. Now, amazing. now I know this is a, now I know this is basically not what you guys may have expected as far as the fleet, but I'm getting there. So bear with me, because down below these guys is my first order slash Sith Empire. Six um, not uh, yeah, six different Tie Fighters, Kylo Ren's command shuttle, and the um, Knights of Ren transport ship. I did reviews on all these guys. Links, hopefully, links will be in the description. But you have three TIE, Sith TIE Daggers, uh, Special Forces TIE Fighters, and Von Rang's, Von Rang's um, Interceptor. And this is basically the one of the smallest army, army fleets that I have. But if anyone wants to see the rest, you will eventually. Because the next one I'm going to be showing off are my, v, are my A Wings. These are, I have eight total of three different models. Four Resistance A-Wings, uh, three Rebel Alliance A-Wings, red ones, and one special one from a two-pack that I have done, that I have done a review on, including, along with Vader's. Four Arc-170 Starfighters. Um, an incomplete modified Venator, which is my absolutely favorite starship in the Clone Wars era, a Republic Y-Wing, which is quite the sleek design. I'm actually a big fan of this design. The Z-95 
Headhunter. My Republic Frigate. Three Ectus Twos uh, Interceptors. We got Obi Wan's there from this one is actually modified. It's actually based off from the one in Episode Three, which I believe was released back in two thousand six. Anakin's Interceptor, one of the more recent ones, and I modified the second. I got two of them. I modified this one to be for with orange elements. So this one, if anyone doesn't know, this one's meant for Hera Syndulla. No, she is no Jedi, but I got but I got. Uh, inspired from another YouTuber who actually done several different variants of the Actus Twos for specific characters and he did an orange one meant for Hera. We got Anakin's um, Delta 7 which I have modified just a little bit by putting the thrusters from one of his other starfighters that they've came out with. Mace Windu's and the very first Jedi starfighter that I've actually gotten Obi-Wan Kenobi's from episode 2, but I modified this one. I added in a socket for an astromech and I made it a little more bulky. Four more Del stock Delta 7s. I actually bought four of Anakin's uh, Delta 7 white, or excuse me, Delta 7 uh, Jedi Starfighters, and I just made these guys stock. I will do modifications with these guys. Yeah, I got four of those. CC 10s. Plo Koons and a much more updated version of Obi-Wan's Delta 7 from Episode 2. And of course the, T the Jedi T6 shuttle. That's basically for my Republic clone army. Shift over here. I got four shuttles, two um, Lambda class, these two suckers here, and two Sentinel classes which I've done reviews on. And yeah that is an old Republic era Sith Fury starship. I don't know if that's the full name of it, but I did throw that in because I do have sets from the old Republic. So yeah, I got those guys. Of course, the light cruiser. That's actually from the Mandalorian. That'd be Moff Gideon's light cruiser. And of course, like I said before at the start of the video or in the intro, these are the six. Imperial V wings, which are one of my which actually are one of my favorites that they've come out with, and may as well just show off now. This is here is my UCS Imperial Star Destroyer. I've had this thing for I think almost two years, and it's basically the center. It's basically the center point of the whole fleet. And right in front of them are my two starfighters, two Tie Fighters from Solo, and the. And Vader's TIE Vance, which came with the Rebel Alliance A Wing. And I ended up getting 10 of these TIE Fighters, six of which are standard, and the other four I modified the wings to turn them into interceptors, which is a neat touch, and I actually quite like it a lot. Behind them, if you guys see my last review from, yep. The last upload, the Tainted 4 and the second one, which I modified to have some blue markings. I mean, granted, some of the ele key elements in the starship remained, but I did not put the red markings on the hull here. But I did put blue markings on here just to add a little bit more flair and have it stand out quite a bit, so it definitely does that. Back here, we got Palpatine's shuttle on the right. I got a modified um, Trade Federation transport. I replaced the other markings from purple to or violet to maroon. And right next to that one is the Bad Batch shuttle, which I have, some, which I also had done a review recently as well. I don't know how recently. And right next to it is the Twilight, or at least something similar to the Twilight. If anyone who had seen the Clone Wars. This was Anakin's special frigate that he utilized for for undercover missions, but I did do a few changes to it and I actually renamed it. One of the big changes I put on, I did was replace some of the other color pieces and put blue on them to signify the 501st. So I renamed this one the Twilight 2, because the original Twilight was destroyed on Mandalore. Behind that is my mock, my mock ghost. 
the, the last uh, Mock Monday review that I had done before I transitioned to other sets that I have done. Right next to it is the Phantom 2, which I also done a review on. And it does fit on the back of the Ghost. Right next to that sucker is Pre Vistla's Mandalorian Starfighter. And this is and this one, if you didn't want to see my review, I think is way better than the one next to it. This one was more recent. But I still got anyways for the characters, and this is just your standard Mandalorian Starfighter. Granted, it's a little bit smaller, but still works nonetheless. Right in front of that, the Razor Crest. Now, I do not have the UCS version yet. That's going to be a future project next year. But I did get my hands on this sucker. Of course, right in front of that one is Mando's N1 Starfighter. This is a much, this is a basically a new ship that he had had acquired in the Book of Boba episodes or in the Book of Boba TV series and might as well move on to the next one the Millennium Falcon this is the one from episode 9 the rise of Skywalker and I did do a review on this one quite recently as well behind that Boba Fett's ship I'm not gonna use the term or I'm not gonna use the other name because I don't know if I'm gonna get in trouble for saying it but next to that one's actually a bounty hunter ship from the Clone Wars era. This now I actually had modified this one a little bit, just a little though. <laughs> it's part of I move around. Oops! Oh, you guys didn't hear that. Yeah, this the panel right down there. I actually replaced with a gray panel just so it six just so it's not exactly of the character. The character being. Sugi, but this set actually came with two other bounty hunters, including Aura Singh, quite sought out after. So, I got so yeah, I actually did. I decided to rebuild this one just so we can throw in some neutral ships. And right in front of this sucker, right next to the Falcon, the Raven's Halo. This was the Kessel Run Falcon, but I had modified it. I since I got the newer Falcon. I decided to modify this sucker. I replaced the blue markings and put maroon on them just to make it stand out quite a bit and I renamed it the Raven's Halo. Another YT-1300 ship. And there's quite the major differences from the two different ships. I don't know if there was a middle ship in between these guys because this one was released I believe back in 2018. That one 2020, correct me if I'm wrong. But there was no other ship, that, there was no other updated version of this ship between so they actually did some major changes that are quite impressive. And of course right in between these guys is a I can't remember what this one was called but this is another ship from the Old Republic that I decided to throw in and even modify. The original concept did not have this software on astromech, a very bulky looking astromech so I decided to throw that in just to accommodate that kind of feature. Of course moving along here we got the Rebel Assault Frigate. This was a set from Star Wars Rebels, and this was another one I had recently done. Of course, my only, again, my only complaint on this guy is the size. I mean, it's just way too small. It's supposed to be bigger than even a CR-90 Corvette. But, still got it anyways, just for the fix, and for adding a little bit more onto the fleet. Behind that is my, N my Naboo Starfighter. This set was from back in 2006. This set actually came with a Rebel, not a Rebel, a Naboo Royal, a Naboo Royal Guard pilot, Anakin Skywalker, as a boy, and R2-D2. Now, now, I actually decided to rebuild this one, even though this one is very outdated compared to some of the more newer ones. But since I had gotten Dingerins, I wanted to rebuild this one. And right next to it is another N1. This is actually of my personal design, personal um, color design. I the yellow and the gray are quite um, I felt are quite nostalgic for the what the starship originally looked like. But I wanted to do a different color variant, and I actually like this one way better. And it's the same layout as the other one so it's based so the designs are quite similar but I actually like this one a lot better especially with the mixing in colors and even replacing the copy with a blue piece so there's so I basically did that on purpose 
And moving on, moving next, we got my I got my two Resistance X-wing Starfighters. These are the only two that I have, and I do believe I did a review on these guys. I'm pretty sure I did. And moving on, we got the I got two Resistance Y-wings, and quite frankly, I actually like this design a lot better, especially the design on the cockpit because it's a lot more, a lot more detail, a little more lean, and more. Um, aerodynamic and sleek so I actually like this version of the Y-Wing a little bit better. Right next to them, right behind that one is Poe Dameron's orange and white X-Wing Starfighter. I never got the black one unfortunately. I like that one more so but this one's just as good and the one good thing and I did do a review on this one as well and the one good thing I actually like compared to the other ones or Resistance X-Wings is this one can actually fit a whole astromech in there not just the not just the BBA unit. They can actually hold a whole astromech in it, so that I actually like. Moving on, going to my favorite Starfighter, the B Wing or the Blade Wing or B Wing Starfighter. This was set that this excuse me, I'm sorry, so I'm very tired. I haven't even eaten breakfast yet. This set only came out in Return of the Jedi, as far as the Rebel Alliance B-Wing, and I actually got two of them, and I even built my own mock, mainly just a different color design, but I loved this spider so much, I had to do a third one. Behind those two are my three X-Wings. I got this one, I did, this hook I did a review on, they actually did a couple of differences, or customizations, one being you can actually change the wing designation from red 5 to red 3, so I got red 3 and red 5 on the X-Wing Starfighters for the Rebel Alliance and I also got this one, the just, your, just a downsized version of the um, of red 5 which came with two very unique figures, one being Leia Organa in her white dress from A New Hope and of course, Jan Dudana. And of course, I don't know if I pointed these guys out, but here are my Rebel Y wings. I did reviews on this one, and if you can tell, you can tell the difference between the carpet on this sucker and this sucker. The designs are—it just looks more sleek for the Resistance ones. This one was just bulky, but of course, it's supposed to be a scale or a stripped-down version of this bad boy, which I like more so because it's the first generation. And I don't know if I pointed these guys out. I got four ARC-170 Starfighters. I had started off with one. I think this one was from 2010 because I think they've only done two or three different designs. The first one being back in for episode three, but they did this one as well. And there was actually a sale going on at one point at Fred Myers and actually decided to get three and I have no regrets. I mean, I actually like the Arc-170 Starfighter, basically the, one of the predecessors to the X-Wing. So there's that, just a little bit of lore. And I actually did modify these guys. Normally there's maroon tips on the wings, but for two of them I gave them solid white and the other two I gave them gray tips. And I even replaced the color of the engine thrusters. The gray tips have green. Uh, engine thruster colors, the ones with the solid whites have reds. So there's, so I did do a few modifications, but that's basically it for the for the Arc 170s. I don't know, and I might have, I think I did do the uh, the A wing. So yeah, I definitely did do that. So may as well pan out because I cannot get all this in one. Frame, but this is practically it, the whole armada. Now, how, now you may be wondering, how many starships and starfighters can this actually be, including my mock starfighters? Well, I did a quick, I actually did a quick count of all of these. I did it by factions. I did, um, I did my first order. And then, actually, I did my mock starfighters first. Then I did my first order. Moved on to Republic, Empire, Rebel Alliance, and the Neutrals, being these guys over here. 
even though some of them, you, well, you may argue, but some of these are from different factions. That'd be true. You got bounty, but you got you got bounty hunters. You got Mandalorians. You got Naboo's the Naboo Royal Guard. You got just anything else, just anything else in between. Now, if anyone is wondering how many sets this is, including those on the counter, this whole total number is on is 109 starships total. I did I did count them. That's how many that I got here. But it's not going to be that way for long because some of these are actually going to be gone. I've already gotten some already. Yeah, some I've, I have decided they're not going to be around for very long. I am going to be going to be relinquishing going to be relieve myself of two tie daggers and one special forces tie fighter. I am taking. I am also going to be relieving myself of. Sadly, two of these guys, one of each, the four out of my six V-Wings, the TIE Fighters are going to be another story. Those two I actually keep because I actually like the whole setup there, of uh, the two standard TIE Fighters there, and Vader's TIE. Getting rid of any extra Starfighters that I have, the Y-Wings, the X-Wings, not the B-Wings, but maybe or maybe not and the A-Wings, but not the ARC 170s or the Z-95 Headhunters, so those guys are basically staying. And as far as the TIE Fighters here, these guys, four, so keeping one design out of the standard ones here and keeping one of these guys, so three Interceptors and five Standard TIE Fighters are going to be taken apart because I'm actually going to be doing a special project. Hopefully in the near future it's going to be consistent of different TIE variants. So that's definitely something if anyone who has made, to the, made it this far, that's what I'm going to be doing next. Or sometime in the very near future. They're going to be brand new mocks. But yeah, this was definitely quite the interesting predicament to setting these guys up. This took me over an hour to set up. Some I already have pulled out in the back room, but other ones were actually underneath the house in bin, so that took me some time to pull out, but thankfully the starter store definitely was not in, definitely not under the house in a bin. It was actually on display in my bedroom. So I would say that this would be it. So that was my anticipated, my most anticipated video of the past several weeks, my review on my Grand Fleet. And if you made it to this point in the video, and if you like what you see, feel free to leave a like down below and leave a comment. I'd like to know anyone who comes across this channel, which one of these ships is your favorite? Which, which era of Starfighters that you like the most? Because for me, I personally love the B-Wing, but I also like the ARC ones, like the, um, the Z-95 Headhunter from the Clone Wars era, and I even have a soft spot for the Sith TIE Dagger of, of the First Order era. So if anyone who, so there's any sets that you guys actually like to see, and I'd like to know if you have any of these sets, including the UCS Star Destroyer, which is sadly retiring at the end of this year of the update on the upload of this video. Now I do have more projects lined up that are going to be coming in, but sadly, I must, I must, tell y'all that starting next that for the lot for the next month going into new year, new year the videos are going to be not as consistent as they have been at this point so I do have videos planned I got at least three more videos for mock Mondays I mean that's what I, I do it every I do those videos every other Monday so I got see so yeah, I got three more to do I am going to be doing a review on my first order army my Mandalorian army, and I am going to be transitioning into my Republic clone armies. So that's definitely something I'm going to be doing, but the Republic clone army I may be doing next year because eventually I am going to be straying away, going to be moving off from Legos altogether. I will be so consistent in the hobby, just not as frequently, and I'm going to be moving on to other videos, including ukulele tutorials. Those ones I'm going to be doing. So, definitely, so if that's something that you might like yourself, or you know anyone else, then definitely suggesting that. I'll be doing those kinds of videos because I'm doing this channel just for fun. 
But if you do like it, but if you do want to see more of that kind of stuff, and if you're open-minded to that kind of stuff, then come join the Wolf Pack by hitting the red subscribe button down below. And I do sincerely hope that I have actually put the links of all those reviews on in the description down below as well. So definitely check those out because I did reviews on, on most of those except for some of the other ones that I had mentioned at the start of the video. So I believe that is it for now. And all that stuff for me to remind you that Jesus loves you more than Emma and Barney does. And I'll see you guys next time.